Let's start with the peak inverse voltage rating of a conventional rectifier diode. We call this rating PIV, and typically the PIV will be 1000 volts or above. So, what happens? This might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but the diode does break down. An IMPAT diode is different. IMPAT is an acronym for Impact Ionization Transit Time. This diode has extra layers, shown here, sideways. From left to right, we have the anode doped positive, followed by a negatively doped avalanche zone, followed by a lightly doped intrinsic layer called a drift zone, and finally, the cathode doped negative. This whole assembly is about 15 micrometers thick. Let's apply reverse bias to the impact diode and see what happens. Wait a minute, let's start with a little less voltage. With the voltage applied, the electrons start pushing their way into the positively doped anode. The pressure builds up, and a pulse of electrons drifts toward the positive charge at the cathode. In our example, the process takes a little more than one nanosecond. This, when repeated, gives us a frequency of about 9 gigahertz. Here we show a proper load resistor and a rep representation of the sine wave at 9 gigahertz. What do you think will happen if we increase the voltage? Yes, we increase the frequency. Therefore, we can control frequency of an MPAT diode with voltage, giving us a voltage-controlled oscillator.